When you're hot, you're hot. And that's certainly been the case for Crawford. He's got 13 points, and from downtown, he's buried three three-pointers. Well, when he squared himself up and gotten good looks, he's knocked them down. Here is Wall. We've got Sanders. Paul out there with Booker. Then there's Sarich. And it's the machine in at the five spot. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Passes to Wall. Shot clock at six. The shot no good. And Phoenix will come the other way. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. They've been the glass eaters today, guys. A ton of effort out of them down low. It's been a difference maker for them in this game. That's what's put them in front. Here's Boss. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew Contact on the shot. And let's go real fast to the rookie leaderboard. These are the rookies shooting the highest percentage from the floor this season. Well, you look at Przingis, you know what you're going to get from him day in and day out. He's scoring and finishing at a very high level. I mean, playing within himself offensively and being very discerning with his shot selection. Yeah, you know, it comes down to efficiency for me. I mean, most young guys get excited, want to prove themselves. So, But he just calmly goes about his business and really does that at a high level. Very impressed by him. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Suns lean by seven. Pass to Book. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Booker's got 12. Unbelievable shot there. He busted out the trick release and left the defender dazed and confused. No one near wall as he lets it go. Off target on the outside leaner. Phoenix has gone five and nine when they put up the three-point shot tonight. And John Wall, guys, is still one of the most explosive players in the league. His speed makes professional athletes look like they are stuck in mud. Usually you talk about how tough a player is, and you're always talking about big guys. But Chris Paul is as tough as they come playing that little point guard position. Yeah, he's a power pack when One you look shot. at him. I mean, he's Line played through a lot of injuries and still has a big-time impact on the game. Most recently in the playoffs, he played through injury to beat the Spurs. Free throw drop for Paul. And last year, you could see Paul was hobbled in their loss to the Rockets in the second round. Still, most players wouldn't even have made it back out on the floor, much less been as effective as he was during the postseason. Now here's Wall. Scoring-wise, he's definitely making his mark. Right now, he's averaging about 19 points a game. Reddick, the good-looking shot from the wing. Reddick's got 10 points. Suns leading by 10. Yeah, you know, that's the thing about Paul. He doesn't need to be blazing fast or quick to beat you. He can play seemingly on one leg and still dismantle a defense. And all the last six baskets, five have come on the interior. This is major smash mouth basketball, guys. It's all about imposing your will offensively, getting exactly the kind of looks their coach drew up. Trail by 13. Timeout called the Rockets. 
clearly he's not pleased with all the looks they've given up on the inside and also to get them to tighten up that defense. Yeah, and I think he's going to let them know about it. I mean, they're playing some soft interior defense, and you can't win that way. That's a recipe for disaster if you're not going to play with some physicality inside. We're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. Here's Wall. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. Nice work on the inside. Hard to get that one up and over the big fella. Well, it's not supposed to be easy down there. And a little artistry on the inside helped him make it happen. And he's got his first chance at the line here. An 80% shooter. The work he's done at the line this season. One word, solid. And I think it's clear he's gotten better in that department since last season. I mean, he looks a lot more comfortable at the line now, and he's getting better results. And we're just about two minutes into the second half now. Suns leading by 10. Sanders passes to the machine. Now here's Booker. Defense right on him. No good. This offense's first miss after three straight makes to start the second half. Here's Wall. He has five. He kicks to Reddick. Shoots the three. And Sanders pulls it down. Sanders has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Paul with the ball. He's picked up by Wall. The drive by Paul. From 17 feet out, Phoenix no good that time either. Rockets trail by 10. Here's Boss. He's got six. Here's Persingas. It's rebounded by Paul. Paul's got three rebounds now in this one. The pass to the machine. Here's Sarich. The shot is off. And it's Houston the other way. They'll be off next to Utah for a meeting with the Jams. And that will be the fourth of the string of five played on the road. Here's Porzingis, defended by Booker. Six to shoot. Reddick for three. Some solid D from Paul. Phoenix leading by ten. Sanders dishes to Booker. And the three off target. Boy, with an open look like that, he is so gifted. Man, you've got to play better defense. Eventually, he's going to make you pay. Yeah, you can see he's still in rhythm, even though he misses that one almost always deadly when he's that open. And that's one of his strengths, knocking down those long-range jump shots. Phoenix calls timeout. And, and Reddick is just an unbelievable three-point shooter. It's not just his volume. It's his pinpoint accuracy. By the end of last season, Reddick was 40% from behind the arc for his career. So it's Phoenix now. Paul goes in, loses his man off the screen, and lays it up and in. Paul's got five points in the quarter. Rockets trail by nine. Outside, Wall. Screen by Jones. Outside, Wall. Shot off the pick. And the shot's good after hitting off the rim. Wall's got seven. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. And Greg, especially when the ball is in his hand. I mean, come on now. You know he doesn't miss too many open looks like that. Wall against Paul. 
He dishes it to Booker. Shot clock at six. No luck. So Houston will take it the other way. And it's Houston on the break. Here's Boss. No good from outside. And he's really having all sorts of problems with his jumper right now. Yeah, big time. I mean, the words that come to mind, ice and cold and disappearing stroke, all with a plot. Here's Boss. He has six. Wall attacking. And lots of contact there. This is the shot. He'll shoot two. Let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. So I got to say, one thing that stuck out all game is the consistent penetration they've got. Yeah, and the other thing also is tonight they've been able to get to the free right, throw line gentlemen. consistently and, and also convert Two big shots. points from the charity strike. And the first one at the line is good. Well, how about John Wall in this one? He's got eight points and seven assists. He's having a great passing game and is knocking down those foul shots as well. Not to mention just the overall fundamentals that he's put on display here today. And so Wald nails both of them. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. Here in the fall, he's checked in for Houston. One shot. One shot. Free throw. Good. Paul. Pockets trail by eight. Outside wall. He feeds it to Reddit. They set the pick to the middle. Deflects the pass. Stolen by Sarge. Ball outside. From downtown. That's good. Paul's got 21 in the game. As hot as he's been this quarter, the game plan is simple, folks. Get him the ball and get out of the way. Wall against Paul. And lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Chris Paul picks up that one. Wow. Wow. He got whacked on that one. Shouldn't be much debate there. Blatant contact. Straightforward call. Simple. The Rockets have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And that one falls for Wall. Of course, he didn't have an attempt there in the first half. He's hoping to be a little bit more active and aggressive here and draw some fouls here in the second. He makes one of two that time. You've got to give him a lot of credit for the job they've done on the back there. They've done a lot of things well today, but really it's about what they've done on the backboard that's at the top of that list. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's a Flalo. He has six. The dish to Reddit. Here's Persingas. Another miss by Houston. Suns lean by 12. And Booker kicks to Sanders. 
There's the bucket. Good. Sanders has got 14. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. Well, I agree with you. Four of their last five baskets have been exactly of that variety. Boy, I tell you what, the complexion of this game would be completely different if he shot the ball anything like he's capable of. Poked away. Booker the pass to the machine. Let's the three fly. Another three for Phoenix. Oh, they are putting the hammer down. A huge lead right now. Yeah, and it doesn't matter if we're talking about their offense or their defense. I mean, it's all been good. Now a timeout called by Houston. So far, his shot selection has been questionable. A lot of tough, contested shots. If I'm coaching, I might sit him down for a minute. Tyson Chandler is checked in for Sarge. Rockets trail by 17. Outside wall. That's to Persingas. It's Wall with the drive. No good again that time. Phoenix has gone two or three when they ventured outside the arc in the third quarter. And here is Paul. He's got 21. Redick with the rebound. Usually if he gets to the rim, he's converting it into points. But the defense stood tall there. Trains the wing train. Redick's got 16 points. And with that three, his second of the half, he's equaled his total from before the break. Now here's Sanders. He's got 17. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Man, he is just really in a flow right now. That field goal percentage has gone through the roof. And here's Wall outside. It's hauled in by the Suns. Sanders has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. Paul with the ball. He's picked up by Wall. And it's Paul penetrating. Out of bounds. Suns ball as Phoenix keeps possession. Kevin, and looking back over the last month, let's check out how Phoenix stacked up. First in scoring. First in rebound. And they're also number one distributing the basketball. This is a team that knows how to find the open man and convert those opportunities. And you go back to their offense, the most explosive in the league. I mean, everyone talks about the great offense beating great defenses. And I tell you what, they make it difficult to hang with them. Oh, and here comes Wall all alone. No doubt that is within his range. Well, I would hope so. He's a pro, and it was only a one-footer. Come on now. Paul kicks to Booker. They set the screen. Lock at six. The Suns need to get a shot off. The machine. Another three for Phoenix. Just look at what a sniper he is from long range. He's got such an unusual skill for a big fella. Outside wall feeds it to Reddit. From deep of follow. It's hauled in by the Suns. Paul's got rebound number five here tonight. They've shown effort and aggression in the paint right from the tip. Their rebounding edge is impressive. And they're giving themselves extra possessions and have taken advantage of it. And that's critical. You can shoot a few lesser percentage if you're getting more opportunities at the rim. And the Rockets with possession here. The Suns getting the bucket. Here's Boss. He has six. Baseline J on the way and too long on the shot. Great looking defense really just to disrupt the rhythm on that shot. Yeah, really turned it from a simple straightforward look into a very difficult shot. Here's a peek now at the 2K leaderboard. This year, these teams have made the most of their offensive rebounds. The Suns third. And just having a terrific year on the offensive glass, it's because everybody buys in. Not just the big men, but even the guards are getting in on the act. Shooting two. Shooting two.
and the first one drops. You know, Paul is playing really well. 22 points, and he's got two baskets from out in three-point land. <laughs> and I'm sure they'd like to get a few more of those out of him. Morris has checked in for Phoenix. Crawford comes in for Sanders. Houston also making some changes. Love's checked in for Boss. Thornton comes in for J.J. Reddick. And it's Patrick Beverly in for John Wall. Both shots good from the strike. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. And Thornton kicks to Love. Back to Thornton. And that one's good. Thornton's got his first points in this one. Perfect screen there. Set him up with a terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good, the screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Wow, what a clever pass that time by Chris Paul. Beverly, the pass to Persingas. No good on the triple. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. And Booker kicks to Morris. His three-pointers off the mark. Even though he isn't having the best of games from the floor, it hasn't seemed to hurt him. And it's Beverly missing. Suns leading by 21. It's Crawford on the wing. Chandler kicks to Crawford. To the wing right side. No good from Booker. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And a follow wide open. He shoots. Knocks down the three ball. A follow's got his third basket of the night right there. Phoenix has gotten the three pointer to fall to the tune of 50% here in the third quarter. They've made three of six. Crawford up top. He's guarded by a follow. It's Crawford with the drive. Comes up empty down low. Well, he, he gets it in close, but you have to credit that stifling. He got it! Wow! He caught it! My goodness! Wow, what a miracle heave to finish off the quarter. How'd he get that one to go? I don't know, but I think that's a 2% shot. He'd make two out of 100 of those if you gave them to him. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it yeah. tough to come back. Suns lead by 15. And right after this, we'll bring you the start of the final quarter right here on 2K Sports. Welcome back as we get ready to start the fourth quarter. Not exactly a nail-biter here, but you never know. Phoenix with the ball. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Rockets. Boss is out there with Jones. Then there's a follow. Then there's Kevin Love. And it's Beverly in at the one. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. Chandler's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Suns. Rockets trail by 17. Beverly with the ball. Vicious to Love. Fade away. Phoenix grabs the miss. Not a whole lot going down for him at this point. He just can't buy a break. Crawford with the ball. Now guarded by a follow. From 11 feet away. And good. And it takes a nice bounce off the right iron and down. And that's 15 points for Jamal Crawford. The Rockets shooting around 41% on the night. Fourth quarter still young. Just over a minute play. Love kicks to Jones. Down to five on the shot clock. Fires it up. Cannot hit. Now the Suns take it the other way. There's the feed to Chandler. Crawford kicks to Sarge. From ten feet out, and he knocks. Down the jumper. And the Suns lead by 21. 
I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. It's a pick by Love. Jones dishes to Beverly. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. What a drive there. It didn't bother him at all to have a much taller defender hanging all over him. Suns leading by 19. Paul right side to the left wing. Chandler with the screen on Beverly. Here's Booker. Chandler down low. Working on Love. Out to the wing. Now here's Booker, defended by Beverly. Now Booker. And that's collected by Love. Love's got 11 rebounds in the game. Jones, no one around him. Kept alive by Houston. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Crawford. The machines checked in for the Suns. Sanders comes in for Jamal Crawford. And a switch here also for Houston. J.J. Reddix checked in for Aaron Aflalo. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Love the pass to Boss. It's a pick by Love. Here's Beverly. Cranes it from beyond the arc. Beverly's got five points now this quarter. You know, he's knocking down his shots today, but it hasn't really translated to the scoreboard yet. Passes to the machine. Over to the wing. Sanders. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Paul's got his sixth assist on the night. And, and how about that? Responding to the three-pointer against them with a quick one of their own. Terrific little tay to tay going on right now. Back and forth. Here we go. Here's Boss. Shoots from 12. And the Rockets getting another bucket right there. Boss. Suns lean by 17. Kicks it to Booker. It's blocked. Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Here's Boss. And that one's good. For Phoenix, they've gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. There's a good screen. The drive by Paul. Can't get it to go. And fancy finishes like that look great, but man, it's embarrassing when you blow them. And Beverly kicks to Jones. That's tipped. Sanders with the steal. Stolen away. Here we go, one on one. Here's Boss. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Checking out the game, Boss is happy. Ten points, and he's been a good on the ball defender, too. He's got a pair of steals. Yeah, he's just made a lot of very heads-up plays, and his defense really has been a difference maker. All right, now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. The story in the first half was their low free throw percentage. They've corrected that here in the second half, and hopefully they can build on it as this game continues to progress. For Zinkis, he's jacked in for Houston. Wall comes in for Patrick Beverly. That one misses. Phoenix leading by 14. And here is Paul. Pass to Booker. Let's it go with a three. It's rebounded by Porzingis. Porzingis has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So active. 
Reddick with it. Now defended by Sanders. And here's Wall outside. And Sanders pulls it down. Oh, man, you know he'd love to have that one over. Good. Sanders has got 16 points here in the second half. I mean, he was great in his last game, Clark, and clearly he has not lost that love and feel. Here's the screen. Back to Wall. He makes the Johnny from the left block. Boy, he's having a great half here. Exactly the opposite of the first. Suns have gone 5 of 11 from the field in the fourth quarter. Phoenix calls timeout. Now, you know what? I think he thinks he can make a few improvements to how things are going on right now. Yeah, and you know, coaches always are looking for ways to tweak things and change it up a little bit, no matter what the situation is. That's what coaches do. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? I was able to listen in on what Jeff Hornacek had to say to his team. He told the players, let's put our foot on them and keep them down. We've got them exactly where we want them. I want to see you guys slow the pace, use the clock, and stay away from any silly fouls. Picked his pocket. Here's Boss, defended by Paul. Love the pass to Persingas. Back to Love. Left block shot on the way. Can't get it to go. So Phoenix will take it the other way. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. And it's Paul penetrating. And that one's good. Paul's got 15 points here in the second half. And they are trying to put the hammer down, attacking the rim whenever they can. Outside wall. Goes up on the wing. It's hauled in by the Suns. Sarge has got rebound number five here tonight. Paul dishes to Booker. Trying to break that ice cold streak. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And the Executive of the Year award is an odd one. I mean, given yearly to the executive that was deemed to have had the best year with their roster, that is perhaps the hardest thing to evaluate. And for the Executive of the Year award, it's hard to evaluate because for GMs, Clark, it takes years of moves to reach a certain point. Yeah, it's an annual award, but it's awarded for years of decisions, if that makes any sense. One big sign in a trade isn't quite enough to win the award. Both free throws good from Booker. Now here's Wall. Clark, they've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a little bit of cotton mouth here. Dry spell for sure. And Reddick kicks to Love. The pass to Boss. Here's Persingas. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket's good. He'll go to the line. Shooting one. One shot, one shot. Here's Booker. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Love. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. The Rockets making a switch here. Jones has checked in. Shooting 
two. Shooting two. The first one falls. Both free throws good from Booker. Rockets trail by 17. The dish to Reddit. Jones for three. That's good. That's the kind of D that you're not going to find success with, guys. They've got to get a hand in the face. The Suns have gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. And Sanders, here we go. And there's the call on Boss. That's his fourth foul of the contest. And that fourth foul, guys, might force him to scale back the aggression from a defensive standpoint. He does not need, nor does the team need, number five. And Sanders gets it to go on the assist by Booker. Booker's got five assists in the game. Houston's gotten off four three-pointers in the final quarter, and two of them a fall. All with it. They set the pick. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so we will go to the line. A three-point play chance here. Shot. One shot. One shot. And that one falls for John Wall. Suns leading by 13. Paul kicks to Sanders. Shot from 12. And that one hits back iron. For Houston, they've gone 8 of 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. And he was fouled in the act of shooting. Chance here now for a three-point play. Defense has been a little soft, allowing them some operating room inside here in the second half, and, and they're taking advantage of it, which is what they should do. One shot. One shot, gentlemen. The Suns have gone through the fourth quarter shooting 50%, 7 of 14. Here's Booker. Oh. <laughs> Tell you what, he's going to put that one in his scrapbook. Absolutely insane with that dunk. Well, now they're starting to rub it in, aren't they? Have build up a lead, and here we go, folks. It's showtime. <laughs> that was a Kodak moment right there. The more plays they make like that, the more they'll have these guys on the ropes. Here's Reddick after the Suns pick up two. Jones, no luck. Al Paul passes it to the machine. He kicks to Booker. Fires the three. Shot's good. Booker's got 24 points. And really, it looks like he may just try to take this thing over on his own and really build that lead up. And here's Wall. Fires from deep. They get the rebound. Suns leading by 15. Pass to Sanders. Here's Booker. Kicks it out to Paul. Using his post moves to get the two points. He's got 27. 
Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. Ball passes to Jones. Here's Moss. Sanders covering. Six to shoot. Shot to stop the run, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Phoenix has gone two or three in the fourth quarter from long range. Good shooting so far. Ball outside. He dishes it to Saric. Here's Booker. It's rebounded by Houston. And this is what they wanted. I mean, to announce their presence in this matchup with authority. Very decisive. It can definitely be considered a statement win for the Suns. Clark, their inside game was what secured them the win tonight. Yeah, Kevin, they had their way in the paint, and those are all high percentage shots. And on the year now, tonight's impending victory will push their win total to 47. And, and they've taken control of the season series. This brings them to 2-0 and oh with one game left against this squad. And believe you me, they'll be gunning for the sweep in that third meeting. Just a quality win, and, and you look at the box score and some really good numbers for Sanders. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Now here's Paul following the miss by John Wall. Puts it up from 17. Sanders' shot is off. Here's Boss. Sanders covering. Pass to Persingas. Beyond the arc. Can't get it to go. And Phoenix the other way now. Three second difference between shot clock and game clock. And Sanders, here we go. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Sanders has got 30. And just a terrific job of taking care of business in front of the home fans. And Greg, those fans had a hand in the win. I mean, they gave this team a big lift throughout the game. Uh, I thought there was great energy in the building. So it's the Suns winning easily here. This game may not have been the most exciting we've ever seen, but you have to appreciate just what a clinical performance they put on. Yeah, they were the superior team in every department, in every category to me, Kevin. I know their fans loved it and appreciated it. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Well, Tyson, certainly some great work by the team lately and again tonight. No change. What's been the key to the way you guys have been playing? We've been playing very hard as a team. You know, it's all about team. Uh, team defense, team offense. We've been sharing the ball. and We just got to continue the streak. Congratulations, Tyson. A great win. Guys, over to you. Doris, thank you as always. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. And now time to send it over to the award-winning Ernie Johnson for the post-game show. The 2K Sports post